Hi hey everyone, welcome. Hi everyone. A few months ago, um, Apple was under fire about some battery issues concerning yeah. the performance of uh, iPhone models above the iPhone 6. Yeah. You had the same problem with your iPhone. I had the same uh, issue indeed, yeah. Um, I had the problem uh, with performance uh, on my iPhone. I noticed that it was going down quite fast. With the performance and battery life. And battery life. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen battery lives drop, you know, from 87% uh, that that's what it was on when I first checked it, yeah. uh, down to 52%. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a really big drop. And the performance um, did go down the drain yeah. as well. Indeed, yeah. Comparing to my iPhone, because we both have an iPhone 6S. 6S, S, 6S yes. yeah. Mine was already replaced in the Apple return of repair program. Yeah. So mine is at 99%, I believe. And um, yours clearly isn't, uh, as the photo you see now um, demonstrates. Yeah. It's at 52%. 52% indeed. Yeah. Uh, so what? What I? Um, I mean, we've we've done some testing. Yeah. Uh, some benchmarking. Benchmarking versus uh, my phone versus his phone. Yeah. Uh, and it was clear that you know the performance was a lot lower. Yeah. Uh, like dramatically. Um, so I've decided I wanted to replace my battery. Yourself. Your, myself, yeah. indeed. Yeah, because uh, if you have an iPhone, just to point it out, if you have an iPhone 6 or newer and you yeah. have uh, battery problems, um, or performance issues um, regarding to the battery, yeah. and the performance is decreasing, Apple has a return program launched for a fee of $29. Yeah. $29 uh, you can get your battery replaced by Apple. So yeah, by Apple himself. Yeah, we'll post the, 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 the link in the video description. So. Yeah, so normally the price would have been 79 And now it's $29. It's a bargain, I think. Yeah, all because of you yeah. know the, the issues that came out. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do it myself, or we're going to do it ourselves. Yes. Um, so I've got myself an original uh, Apple battery. Yeah, we're going to replace it and uh, we'll show it on video. So if you want to attempt it yourself, just yeah. follow this uh, short video tutorial. and. Um, you should all be fine. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, afterwards, we'll show some benchmarks. Yeah. Uh, the before with the old battery and uh, the after benchmarks with the new battery uh, to see how the performance has yeah. increased. And uh, as comparing material, I will do the benchmarks on my own on, yeah. iPhone 6S. Uh, yeah. Indeed. So, let's get started. Yeah, let's start. Yeah. All right. Uh, first things we're going to do is undo these two screws over here. They hold the screen in place. So that's the first thing we're going to do. The screen should be uh, detached now with the two screws. Second thing we're going to do is take the uh, suction cap. We're going to need this one to lift the screen up. So we're just going to apply it to the screen. What we want to do next is uh, try and lift up the screen a bit. Uh, to put it out of the out of the casing, um, it could be uh, a little bit attached here with, with a little bit of glue. Okay, so there is some uh, adhesive around the edges, so you want to pull it down all the way to open it up to get it loose, and it should come off right away. You can see there's some adhesives around it. So now we have the inside of the iPhone. There's a screw here and here. They hold down the connector of the battery. We want to undo those as well, and those are normal uh, Phillips screws. On any repair, the first thing you want to do is always disconnect the battery. Just take this cap off. So get it off like that. And right here is the battery connector. Should be able to just lift it up like this. It should pop right out. Um, next is to remove the adhesive underneath the battery. So you've got some stickers here that you can just peel off. Like that, and the next one. So how this adhesive works is if you pull it, you should pull it from underneath the battery uh, all the way out and the battery should come free. So let's see if I can get a grip on it. And 
so it's all the way out like that. And the next one. Like that. And as you can see, the battery already lifted up. And there you go. Got the new battery right over here. Um, so we're gonna put it in. Uh, first, we're gonna replace this adhesive with some new adhesive. So because we don't have the original uh, tape that Apple uses, we're gonna use an alternative. And that is uh, this uh, double-sided 3M tape. And do them about the same size. Doesn't really matter too much. Like that. And I think we're gonna do just three lines about the same size shared over the battery. So one in the middle and then one on the other end. It's already quite a snug fit in the phone, so yeah, it's only to prevent, uh, to prevent it from moving around. Not much more than that, like that. Undo the top parts, then open up the phone again. Place it in, align it. Right, that's it. Right, so the battery is in place. First thing we're going to do now is uh, we're going to remove this cap and Try out the battery, see if it turns on, if it works. All right, we have some power here. So I'm just gonna wait uh, for it to boot up, turn it off again. Right, so we put the cap on, the protective cap. There's two screws, one uh, is a bit longer than the other. Uh, the small one goes on the far end and the uh, longer one goes closest to the battery. So this is a small one. So we're gonna put it in the far end. Tie it down a little bit. And then we've got the longer one that goes right in here. Don't over tie it. And that's it. So now we're gonna Close the phone. Let's see, you wanna uh, hold the screen a bit in an angle because it slides in into the top. And then once it's stuck in there, carefully just push it back into place. Until it clicks, place those two screws back into the bottom. That's it. Let's see what happens if we turn it on. And it turns on. So that's the uh, battery replacement for the iPhone 6s. Uh, what we're gonna do next is uh, run some benchmarks and see how it, uh, how it performs. So yeah, we ran the benchmarks, you saw the scores. Yeah, they're um, as expected, Yeah, uh, like your phone, uh, yeah. same same scores, about the same. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it's a big improvement over the old battery. Yeah, definitely. If I use the phone in general use uh, right now, it feels a lot faster as well. It was really uh, sluggish before. Yeah, uh, So yeah, a lot of stuttering. Really, yeah. yeah, opening apps was very slow. Was very slow. Yeah. So I'm really uh, pleased with that. Nice. I'm really happy with it. Um, of course, Apple uh, is going to do something about 
this uh, issue. Yeah. So if you don't we want to, it. yeah, yeah, and if you don't want to replace your battery, or don't have you know time to do it to, to bring it to Apple or whatever. Yeah. Or if your um, uh, iPhone isn't. Uh, yeah. In the in the uh, in the replacement program. Indeed. Included. Yeah. Apple will include um, a toggle uh, in iOS in iOS 11.3. Uh, that gives you the ability to choose between performance or battery life. Yeah. Uh, so if you turn it to performance, you will lose a bit of battery life, but you will get the performance back that it was. Yeah. Uh, so even if your phone now, like for example, still has 100% um, uh, battery life in it, uh, but it degrades over the next year to 70%, for example, um, you can just use that toggle to get the performance back. Yeah. Really nice. So. Yeah. Yep. So they're doing something about it, uh, but and yeah. they should. As we yeah, know, they should. Yeah, they should. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think this was uh, um, successful. Yeah, successful. Yeah. yeah, I think it was too. So with that, uh, we conclude the video. Yep. If you have any comments, suggestions, maybe some advice, please leave them down in the comment section. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.